Well, the project of the workbench is done. Yet I'm left with a few scraps and a few of the extra iron wood pegs. And this one plank that I'm probably going to make a about a four foot pig out of that I could use for a bench in front of the bench. You know, something to sit on. And sometimes when you're working on small things, it's nice to be able to, to straddle the bench and just work on the end of it. That's why I you know, want to get at least four feet out of it. But I think I got enough of these scraps to make a quick pig. I could even use ironwood for the legs. But that's the shambles. But I also have a hell of a pile of wood shavings. But these I will bag up and I save them for dog bedding in winter. You know, they're excellent for that. Now the bench itself I loaded on the tractor and hauled out and set out in the pasture out in the sun to bake that pine tar into it. And it's quite content to be out here. In fact, uh, the logs that went into the making of this thing came from just over that ridge. So it's right at home here. And it's right next to uh, sitting by my little pond. <laughs> so the ducks can maybe shelter under it if it rains. There's a bunch of ducks nested in there. So here you can see the ironwood, the half inch ironwood pins. There's eight of them holding each plank in place. And they went in. They went in stiff. There's a whole lot of friction involved in this thing. But I'll just leave her bask in the sun for a few days. Every time I come by here, I just wipe her down a little bit. She trapped a lot of moths last night, but she's not quite as tacky today, so. Supposed to have some 90 degree days here for three, four days, so I'll just let her bake. There, Muley is out impersonating the coyote. I warned him not to do that, <laughs> because some people don't know the difference between a dog and a coyote, but he likes to wander around on these hot days goes down into bog and plays. Then we'll do a little drive by the bench.